Today we're checking out the Burger Battle Box from Barbecue Guys USA Premium Cuts. Now this is no ordinary box o burgers. We're talking about 12 half pound patties of different types of meats. There are four Wagyu burgers, four bison burgers, and four steakhouse style burgers. Let's have a closer look, shall we? First up, let's dig in on bison. This is the leanest blend of the three at only 90%, but I wouldn't have guessed that from how juicy and tender the finished version of this patty turns out. And that's not just marketing hubbub either, I promise you. I used to eat this once a week in my restaurant, and although I love it, it was never the most succulent of all the, the things that I had there. But these patties, and these aren't just good looks and taste either. Bison also happen to be nutritional powerhouses. In about a four ounce serving of bison, you're looking at somewhere around 16, 17 grams of protein, uh, 60 to 70% of your daily value of vitamin B12, and 30-ish percent of your daily value of zinc. Boom. Now with that being said, bison's slightly sweeter than beef taste is definitely worth experiencing. Enough said. Let's move over to the steakhouse style burgers. In my opinion, this is where USA Premium Cuts is really bringing it. These half pound patties are composed of a premium ratio of cuts from the chuck, the brisket, and from short ribs. A burger with brisket and short ribs in the mix? Uh, okay, they barely need an explanation, but I'll give it a shot. You're looking at big beef flavor, just the right amount of richness, and add to that, they pull all of that off while still giving you a softer texture than my standard go-to, which is ground chuck patties. Now that I'm salivating like Pavlov's dog, let's have a look at the Wagyu burgers, shall we? Just one look and it's obvious which one of these three patties is the Wagyu patty. Check out the beautiful intramuscular marbling and fat. These definitely have a higher fat ratio than your run-of-the-mill beef patty, but this particular type of fat is higher in a percentage of omega-3s and omega-6s than a, than a comparable cut, basically, of a USDA prime beef. So, you know, it's got that going for it. And while all of this is true, it doesn't really matter to me. What does matter to me is that these patties, once grilled, become some of the juiciest and most decadent hand burgers we've ever tasted. One last note about Wagyu burgers in general is that due to the type and amount of fat in the burgers, they have a tendency to want to come apart on the grill. When grilling Wagyu burgers, it's actually probably a better idea to go straight from the freezer. Simply remove them from the freezer while your grill preheats, lightly coat with some cooking oil, and then season both sides with salt and pepper as you would usually. Now they're ready for the grill. Now comes the fun part. I've enlisted a few friends to help with this burger challenge. Keep in mind that at the time of the challenge, they had no idea which patties were which. They only knew that the patties were either in the yellow, blue, or red labeling. Let's check it out. Smells good. Oh yeah. Yellow, yellow first. first. Tony did a good job. They look perfect. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Kudos to the chef. Very good. It, and, mm -hmm. and look to, for me, I mean, you can tell that, that it's cooked perfectly. Mm -hmm. Yep. But it's, it, it seems a lot less fattier than what you will. Yeah, it's got a good grind consistency to it. Real clean grind too. Yeah. Whoever butchered it took out any sinew or mm. good texture. Blue, we're moving. First one's a little juicier. Yeah, a little juicier. I mean, two completely different taste buds. Yeah, they're for sure. very different. We're heading to red. I'm gonna tackle red. Head to red. It's a little leaner, but... It's leaner and it's... But it's still got... More well done. Yeah. So I'm gonna assume that's the bison. That's my guess. Oh, really good flavor. Yeah, Man. but completely, three completely different taste profiles all together. I gotta go back and revisit. Uh, yeah, I think yeah. I gotta compare a little bit more. I would go to say that yellow 
I believe to be the steakhouse. Oh, it's just kind of got that that even, uh, you know, flavor to it. It's, it's well-rounded. It was good and juicy. It was nice. I want to say the blue, which was our second taste, was probably the Wagyu. Um, it just kind of had that, that little bit more uh, peculiar taste to it. Mm -hmm. And then red, I'm going to say is bison. Uh, a little bit drier, but still good. Uh, yeah, I think I think that's that would be my choices. I stand confident in that. I agree with Randy. I think the the yellow is definitely the steakhouse. It's got uh, like a real tender bite, so they're probably using cuts of steak in there for that grind. Uh, the wagyu, like he was saying, uh, it's got a different fat taste to it. Right, it's a little yeah. more like delicate fat taste to it. And then um, the the last one we did, which was red, correct? Red. red. The red, that was the bison, I'm thinking, because uh, it just had a little bit different flavor profile to it than the other beef burgers. Uh, like you said, a little leaner, yeah. but still plenty of ju plenty juicy and a lot of flavor there. Yeah. I, I think we're all in agreement. Definitely, I think the steakhouse is what you really kind of expect from a burger. Mm -hmm. um, and then the taste profile completely changes when you get to the Wagyu. Uh, it's just a little bit more elevated. It's slightly not as rich, but I mean, when you get to the bison, which is one of my favorite cuts, I absolutely love that in the burger. So, yeah. Um, based on my experience, I think that's the one I, I would typically go with. Yeah. But they're both, all three, amazing in their own different way. Um, but yeah, I think that's what, I think we're all in agreement which one we are. It's funny to say, taste the fat difference. Right. And, and the two uh, beef burgers. And I don't think you'd be disappointed either way you go, yeah, but nope. to taste them all together like that, you can really, uh, you know, kind of feel that change yeah. between the flavors. But I think if you're cooking for the family, you know, you can make sense of that. Whereas if you're cooking for special friends, then you can start justifying the yeah. So if I was coming over, what would you cook for me? Oh, Caitlin, you're getting, you're getting the steak. <laughs> you're getting the steakhouse. There you go. <laughs>